you ever taken a personality test and found out what your strengths are and what your weaknesses are? Okay, in this video, we're going to talk about the four archetypes. Okay, it really goes along with some of the other personality tests. I like this one a lot because it really helps us understand it on a deep level, the different types of archetypes. Stay tuned, you're going to love this. So in this video, we're going to be talking about the lover, the magician, the warrior, and the king. I learned this from my mentor, Elliot Holtz. Um, it's a fascinating uh, concept, and I've really taken it and embodied it in a lot of our trainings, uh, a lot of our um, events, and just the structure to overall programs and everything else. And it's really helped me understand myself more. It's really helped me understand other people. And the the end of the day, you know, we need a combination of all of these different archetypes around us, right? We need someone to be the yin to our yang or yang to the, our yin, right? We need someone to balance out our strengths and our weaknesses, right? Um, you know, years ago, I was uh, building my dream house. This was about 2017, and uh, it was moving day, right? And I had some of my friends over, uh, my mom and my dad over, my brother over, and we're... Uh, packing up the house, right? We're we're getting ready, and my mom walks in. She's like, I love my mom. She's she's the ultimate ultimate lover. She walks in. She's like, Oh, I'm so I'm so excited. My son's moving, and then she starts to cry, getting all emotional. Right? I'm so proud of my son. Oh, do you guys want breakfast burritos? Should I go? Should I go down the street and get some breakfast burritos? Are you hungry? Right? Which is a total lover. They're all about connecting and loving and having a great time, right? They're they're very fixated on building relationships. Okay, so that's that's the lover and that's my mom's core, right? And then I have uh, one of my other friends. Um, she is in she's in my uh, office organizing all the books alphabetically, okay, making sure it all fits right, okay. Uh, my dad's more of a magician. He's out there playing Tetris with all uh, my furniture in the truck. He's just sitting there looking at it. He'll go and he'll put that there and then, oh, that doesn't, that doesn't fit there. And he'll, he'll move it. And then, you know, one of my go-to archetypes, and we all have a go-to archetype, is warrior. So I'm like, no, mom, we're good. We don't need breakfast. Okay, everyone's eight. Uh, who cares about alphabetical? I'm gonna rip that shit out anyways. I'm out my dad, dad, we just need to load it. We're gonna do more, we're gonna do more of this. We just need to load it. And I'm sitting there running around and then I pause and I go, who's the king? <laughs> That's me, okay? And during all that chaos, we had the lover, we had the magicians, Okay, which are the analytical, making sure the ABCs are all in order, the one, two, threes, right? They're very, uh, they're very smart, very logical. Okay, they operate from their mind. Okay, uh, the lover is how they feel, right? The, the warrior is all about getting things done, action. But those three archetypes can't really move forward and get things done if they don't have the king and the queen giving the grand vision. Okay, so in that moment, I realized, okay, I need to be the king right here. If there's no vision, if there's no grand um, outline of what we're doing, then we're not going to get things done. So this, so this applies in business. This applies <laughs> when moving. So this applies in all other spaces. So the more you can know about your archetype, the more you can know about your weaknesses, the more you can strengthen those. And then also this applies with your clients, okay? Is that person a lover? Are they a magician? Okay, are they a warrior? Are they a king? Okay, and the more you know about their archetypes, the more you can know maybe what are some of their shadows. Okay, and we'll talk about that in a second. But let's let's dive a little bit deeper, you know, on this concept. So we got the lover. Okay, the lover is all about connection. Okay, they love they love to love, right? They love to form relationships. This is the person that you uh, put on the phones. They're the first person that you would want someone to meet. They're all about 
customer service. They're all about doing the service, right? They're at the ground level, okay? They're the ones that fell in love with the arts. They fell in love with, with it, right? A lot of, and then the magician. They're the, the magician is more about, okay, how are we actually doing this? What's the way? Okay, so they're all about the steps. Okay, your accountants, your loan officers, your um, web developers, right? They're all about, they're, they're primary the magicians. Okay, and then we got the warriors. The warriors are all about one thing, and that's action. Okay, what is a warrior? They go out into action, they fight, they get it done, they fight for the kingdom, right? Okay, these are, the, these are the ones that you trust to instill the, the grand master plan. They're the ones that are going to create the most uh, action and get things done and moving the ball forward in your business. Okay, and then you have the kings. Okay, the kings and the queen, and these are your grand visionaries. Okay, they're the leaders. They give organization to the grand master plan, right? So let's, let's break these down a little bit more. What's your archetype? Okay, what's your primary? What's your secondary? So I want you to order this, okay, from top to bottom. Not all of them are gonna be number one. Um, you know, you wanna put what's your main go-to, okay? Um, over the years, I find myself being more of a lover, okay? Then I found myself being a magician. Then I found myself very heavily in the warrior. Then I find myself in the king. Okay, I had to step into the magician at certain ports of time, like the certification, right? So you're going to step in the different archetypes at certain periods of time. You're never 100% one, but what's your primary? Okay, what's your secondary? Okay, so order them from one to four. Okay, so let's go a bit deeper. Okay, the kings, okay, they're all about being. They just allow themselves to be, right? That's the primary energy in which they operate. Okay, the warriors, it's about doing. Okay, so warriors are happy when they're doing. Kings are happy when they're being, right? Okay, magicians, okay, when they're thinking. Okay, when they think. All right, so to connect with a magician, okay, do you guys think alike? Warriors connect, do you do some of the similar things? Kings, do you like to be the same way? Is your being similar, right? And then with our, with our lover, right, there are fillers, right? Do they feel the same way about things, okay? So this is important for you to know with your clients as well. Okay, and once you know their primary archetype, okay, then you have an idea of maybe what are some of their shadows that they could step in. Okay, what's a shadow? A shadow is the dark part, maybe um, the part of it that is not the most, I, I, I fail to say bad, okay, we tend to label things good or bad, right? Is, is darkness bad? Well, we need darkness in the world, right? Or else all the trees would die. There can't be light 24-7, right? We, we have to rip down the muscle in order for it to grow back. So I don't really like to necessarily label it good or bad. It just depends upon the result that you're wanting to create, right? And so a shadow is a, a less than ideal version of that specific archetype, okay? And we all fall into different shadows. No one's perfect, right? So the philosophy or the metaphor I give is when the sun rises, right, it casts this shadow this way, okay? And as the sun becomes the highest in the sky, there's not much of a shadow. And then as the, shadow, as the sun starts to fade into the sky and set, okay, it casts the shadow this way. And the, fur, and the lower the sun is, the more of a shadow it creates. So... The goal is to step into the light of each one of these, but we got to be cautious because the shadow could be there and could be affecting us, right? I had a client that said, uh, you know, Travis, I'm really um, self-conscious about being narcissistic. You know, I'm really scared about that. 
and I say, just because you see the shadow doesn't mean you are the shadow, okay? Usually we are the shadows when we don't see the shadow, when we're oblivious to the narcissistic, right? So I was having the conversation with her. So the mere fact that you see that you could be narcissistic is the first step in really fixing that problem if it is a problem, right? If you can't see it, you can't stop it. And that's probably people's number one problem. They have the monkey on the back, but they refuse to look at the monkey, so therefore the monkey continues to cause problems. So we have to be aware of the shadows. So let's briefly talk about the shadows, okay? So there's two shadows with the lover. So the first one, okay, is what's called the dreamer. Oh, that would be so cool to create that business. Oh, that would be so awesome to be a coach. Oh, that would be so awesome to be on stage. Oh, that would be so awesome. Like they think about it. I call it the inspirational masturbating. Oh, yeah, that would be so awesome. Oh, yeah. But they just never fucking do it, right? They're always dreaming about it, okay? Then on the other side of the lover is the, the mama's boy or the daddy's girl, right? They're addicted to love. They have to have it. They have to have the connection, and they'll even go to dark methods to get it, okay? They'll call their boyfriend over and over, Till they don't respond and, and if they don't respond or not not getting attention they'll cause a fight okay they'll go and break break some of their stuff so that way they can actually get some type of feeling and emotion from it right so they're they're addicted to the connection right if they're not doing something on the weekend i'm a loser i'm no good right so they're addicted to the connection around the people okay and then on the magician okay the first shadow is is the dummy right? They think they know it. They think they know all the answers in the world, okay? But they really don't. They're filled with this false uh, ego, right? And uh, not only do they, um, do they think they know it, they haven't experienced anything, okay? So they're the dummy, right? And then on the other shadow of the magician is the contrast to the dummy, okay? What's the contrast to the dummy? It's the, it's the know-it-all. It's the trickster, it's the one who's going to make fun of other people who believe in God because why would you believe in God? That's so stupid. It, it doesn't make sense logically, right? They're so stuck in the logic part of the brain that they can't think of anything outside of their realm of logic. They make fun of other people. They're the keyboard warrior on Facebook, right? Breaking down every single word of everything, right? And they really haven't done a lot, but they've read a lot of books and they know it all, right? They're the trickster, right? Then the shadow into the warrior, which is the coward, right? They'll talk a big game. They'll talk like they're tough. They'll talk like they've done all this business stuff. But at the end of the day, they're a coward. They're afraid, okay? The, these warriors tend to lie about the things that they've done, okay? And then on the other uh, shadow um, of the warriors, the bully, okay? They forcefully use their mind and body they uh, make fun of other people. They tease people because they haven't done the things that they have. They look down on other people, right? And then when we're stepping into the shadow of the king, okay, what's under the king? Okay, the prince and the princess. Everyone should just lift them up and carry them. They don't have to do any work. They just have to bully everyone. So they kind of uh, take on some of the shadow of the bully too at the same time. They're the prince, okay? They don't have to... Uh, live up to the standards of the king. They can do whatever they want, right? And then on the other shadow of the king is the tyrant, right? This would be uh, like Darth Vader would give, uh, be a great version of this, right? They, they dictate. They get to decide. If you're not going to listen to me, then you're going to suffer, okay? A lot of villains in movies portray um, the dark shadow of the king, which is the tyrant, right? If you're not on my team, I'm going to kill you, right? The, the good guy never does that. The good guy says, hey, we want you on, your, on our team, okay? We're not going to hurt you or kill you if you don't want to be on your team, but if you decide to attack us, then we have no choice but to protect ourselves, right? Okay, so if you look at um, a lot of movies, okay, you'll see the shadows of each one of those being portrayed into the villain, Okay, uh, Thanos, right, portrayed some dark shadows of, of the different archetypes, okay? 
So pay attention to this, pay attention to you. And again, if you're a warrior, then you know you have a tendency to play within the shadows of the warrior. Okay. So as, as a natural warrior, you know, I've had a tendency to be too intense at times, okay, for other people, right? My energy what became uh, kind of bullyish, right? And not understanding. So realize that whatever your archetype is, you have a tendency to fall in the shadows of those. Okay. And then also um, to even go a little bit deeper on this, and I could talk about this shit all day. This is really fascinating. Um, the war, the magician, okay, and the king operate more from the mind. Okay. The king needs the magician. Okay. They get along really, really well. Okay. The warrior, okay, and the lover both operate from the body. Okay, there's a line right here, the lover and magician, this is more of a yin, okay, more of a yin type energy. The warrior and the king, that's more of a yang, okay, so, so if a man find himself that his primary archetypes are lover, okay, and magician, they would definitely want to work on more of the warrior and king. And women, if they're more of a warrior and king, Okay, that's their primary, then they would want to look, work more in the lover and magician. Okay, we are attracted to people that have a good, I, I hate to use the word balance, because when we think of balance, I think, okay, my king's good, so now I need to not worry about my king and I need to come over here to my lover. So I hate to use the word balance, I like to use the word strengthen. So if you look at the most popular people, the most attractive people, like, uh, um, for example, The Rock. Does The Rock have a lot of warrior, right? Does he have a lot of king in him? Is he a smart dude? Does he talk really well? Okay, uh, does he have a soft side to him, right? Okay, so that's why everyone loves The Rock is because he portrays these different archetypes. So the more we can embrace these archetypes, the more we can connect with those people and the more results we'll be able to create in our life. And when we're building a business, okay, for example, um, you know, knowing a, a web developer's world, knowing how to think when it comes to web design, okay, is that important for you to know? Absolutely. Okay, learning how to connect with your brand, right? So these different archetypes apply to different parts in business, okay, which we can talk a lot more about. We actually go more in depth at this at Strengthen Your World. Okay, hopefully you've attended that. If you haven't, you must, okay? Not should, not will you, like you must attend that. That would be so awesome for you and help you on so many levels with this and so many other things. Okay, strengthenyourworld.com. We have a discount code for you. Okay, that should get emailed to you. That will allow you to come for an ultra discount. Okay, so keep studying this, guys. Um, I love this. Uh, I'm always posting about it. I have some podcasts as well um, where I go more in depth about these things. And the more you understand this for yourself, it'll help you, but more importantly, your clients, right? Understanding, okay, does my ideal client, are they a king? Okay, what are the shadows of the king? Is my ideal client more of a magician? Okay, do you attract more lovers? Do you attract more warriors? Okay, there's so many different levels we can look at this, okay? So, Continue to work in your workbook, guys. I'm excited to meet you once the certification is all done and over with. Okay, keep working hard. Be inspired in what you're doing. Be next gen. The world needs you. And we'll talk soon.